Hi guys, welcome back to another DJ video review. Today I'll be checking out this new keyboard from Tesoro. It's a Tizona mechanical keyboard. Now this is a non-cherry uh, switch keyboard. Um, it's done by a third party program, um, which I'll look into a little bit later on. I've got the blue switch version. Um, I've tested these out before and these are pretty much identical to cherry. But um, later on in the video, I sort of compare them to cherry and you can hear the difference um, and see what they sort of look like as well. Um, the unique features about this keyboard, it's a 10 keyless keyboard so it doesn't have your numpad but you can also buy the additional matching numpad if you like so I don't have any prices on these yet unfortunately but you can just simply join these together they're designed to clip in they have the, the USB on each side so you can actually run this on either side as you like so it's a pretty sweet idea because you can just use this for traveling if you're doing gaming and then you can have this sitting at home or you can have this in your bag as well and it does make it much much smaller to transport around um, just one thing to note uh, with this keyboard it doesn't have any backlighting so at the moment this is just uh, no backlighting at all they are bringing out a backlit version very soon so that'll be out in the near future but yeah this is just your standard non-backlight um, keyboard so that's pretty much it for this we'll just go in um, have a look what's in the box and I'll test these out and I'll just do some typing and you can see um, how it sort of looks like and what sort of noise they make alrighty so here are the two boxes here um, so you can buy these both separately. Unfortunately, I don't have any sort of prices on these yet. Uh, so you got the sort of, not the full size keyboard, but it is a 10 keyless with the additional numpad, which you can uh, which you can buy separately. And that can click on either side, which is a pretty cool idea. It just used magnets. Um, some of the main uh, features of this, it has a um, game mode. Uh, so you can remap the hotkeys, get remapped to the numpad as well. And you can program the uh, hotkeys is something else. Unfortunately, there's no software on the website yet, so I assume that's not available uh, to download yet. Um, it's got a USB 2 hub. It's got two USB ports built in, but mind, bear in mind that if you use the numpad, you will lose one of those USB ports because the numpad plugs in to either the left or the right one. It has a DC in jack, so if you need extra power for the uh, USB ports you're using, um, it has that as well, which is handy. It's got a 1000 hertz polling rate, uh, it's got 6 N key or full key rollover, so that is always handy. And it has embedded multimedia keys, which I mentioned before, and it's got a detachable cable. I really do like keyboards that have detachable cables. I think that's a must these days. And pretty much with, uh, with this, it's pretty much exactly the same. Well, I won't go into it. I've got the blue version of each, so these aren't cherry switches. Just to note, these are not cherry. These are the... Um, equivalent to cherry but the different brand i think it's um, pronounced k-a-i-l-h or something like that we'll have a look at the keys um, when i take the caps off but they aren't cherry so we might do a quick test of me sort of typing and playing a game with these um, equivalent blue ones and these are the different colors you can get in these um uh, cherry sort of um equivalent switches so i got the blue in that one and then the blue in here so it does kind of make sense to have the blue um where are we blue in each one unless you want say a black um, a black numpad and a say a red keyboard it's up to you really um, so we might actually have a look at the numpad first I've actually had these open um, so they won't look exactly the same I get your warranty information so I normally always test my equipment out first um, I never really just unbox it and just sort of say hey I like this or I like that so I always use use it a bit first to try and get a feel on it um, so nice packaging it sort of tells you extra things as you're opening it up um, where the USB cable is and things like that okay so that's pretty much it so it kind of looks like you're working for an accountant with this it just looks like a little accountant sort of a numpad and I'll see if I can take the key off it doesn't come with a um, key remover um, you probably don't really need it um, if I can get one of the keys off. All right, so there we go. We'll see if we can get a look at the switch there. So that's it there. So it is K-A-I-L-H, and that's the equivalent to the cherry blue. So I'll just put it up to the microphone a bit. So yeah, pretty much sounds exactly the same. I've used the um, Libera as well from Tesoro, and that uses these same blue non-cherry switches, and I honestly cannot tell the difference. I believe they use 10 grams more force but have the exact same tactile feeling. Um, and now you get these two sweet little feet, so you can actually use this on its own. Now, um, you're probably thinking, well, you can't use it with this uh, USB port or cable. This is for when you're docking it to the keyboard that it mates with, but 
they've actually gone ahead and given you this sweet little extension cable so now you can run this this is about 1.8 meters long nice thick braided cable um, and there's your other end there so you can run this off to a pc and you can just use the numpad for anything you like so that'll just work on a standard pc so it's pretty sweet they've done that nice little feature and then you've got your really nice rubberized feet lots of rubber there and they won't move at all all right so moving on to the main keyboard itself um, i'm really starting to like these sort of 10 keyless keyboards um, I've used a few from other brands. Um, they're really nice and compact, especially for gaming and um, just the, uh, doing extra work and sort of take them to work. It's always handy to have one just uh, thrown in your bag. All right, so this is it here. It's quite a different design. We'll just follow the feedback. Um, I haven't really seen a, a keyboard sort of look like this. It isn't quite nice sort of flush design. It's not really high profile. Um, and you can see the two magnets on that side and then you can see the two magnets, magnets on that side and you've got a USB port there and a USB port there, both USB 2 and then you've got this little weird, not sure what this is but obviously I take it they needed uh, this bit on the back and now you have your USB cable in, standard mini USB and then your DC in which it comes with the cable for that um, so this is not a backlit keyboard, uh, they are just bringing one out now it won't be out in a few months, but the one they're bringing out is a full RGB backlit. So that'll be a real sort of changing point for that because a lot of people these days only buy backlit keyboards. I know I really only buy backlit keyboards because I'm just so used to them now. All right, so here's this nice um, gold-plated cable, both sides, 1.8 meters long, and it's got a really nice braid on there, which is good. And then there's just your DC in cable with the little bit there. So most times you won't need this, but I guess if you're running... A hard drive or something like that that requires the extra power you will probably need to uh, plug that in all right so you've got these keys down the bottom these come mapped already as um, uh, Internet Explorer uh, what's this one uh, this one is Windows Mini Player and then your Outlook so you can't change this at the moment because there's no software I couldn't find it on their website uh, moving on this is to change it to um, N key rollover or six key rollover and then this was to change it to uh, game mode that one there which just remaps these keys to the numpad so you can program these for something else all right so that's pretty much it for um and then this one sounds exactly the same as the numpad all right so to get this on um it just uses magnets like that so it's quite strong using the two and then bear in mind which side you use it you have to rotate the usb cable for uh for each side you're on and then you just simply grab it like that and then it just plugs straight in like that so i guess it is a little bit flimsy if you like doing this um it's probably not best to transport it or carry it around like that um but once you sort of lock it in then get these feet out they clip out i like it how they they clip in and then they, they don't move um they just clip straight in and then you can go one notch further and then they don't sort of cut, fall back which is good because sometimes you move keyboard back and the the feet fall back down Okay, so that's it there. All right, so I've just got a quick, uh, a quick typing test um, just to go through, see how well I can type. Um, it's a, probably good to give it a quick test. Um, I think I'll go alright. This keyboard is a fairly sort of standard design. It doesn't have too many uh, too many crazy uh, shapes or, or anything to it. So I think it'll be alright and I do prefer blue. Um, so we'll see how I go. So that was it then. So I think I only did one or two mistakes and that was 76 words per minute. So I don't know if that's any good or not. Um, I don't really type too much. Um, I don't sort of um, class myself as a touch typer, but um, there you have it on the Tesoro uh, keyboard um, with that. So, All right, so just one more test I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a, a noise comparison to a, um, a standard Cherry Blue. 
um, compared to this um, non-cherry blue. So I'm just going to grab the mic. All right, so this is the uh, this is a non-cherry blue. All right, so it's not too noisy. I'll try and do the same on the cherry blue keyboard over here. So the spacebar is slightly different, could but it could purely be the design of the keyboard. But yeah, so you can see they're very, very similar. They feel exactly the same as the uh, traditional cherry ones. Alrighty guys, so that's it for this review. I just wanted to quickly go over this keyboard, um, show you these non-cherry switches. Um, I'm sort of a real fan of these. Um, I've had no problems using these. I've used non-cherry uh, switch keyboards in the past. Um, I really don't think cherry keyboards are hyped out to be sort of what they are. Um, I've never had an issue with these. Um, I'd like to see more keyboards using these switches and, um, and get them out in the market more. Um, as for the design of this keyboard, I actually really like it. I think it's something new. Um, it's good that they've kept with your sort of your standard design. They haven't done something crazy, um, completely out of whack. And I really like the feature of being able to add the numpad and being able to use this on its own as well with the extension cable. Um, the only sort of downside is the lighting, but um, as I said earlier, they are bringing out a version with the lighting. I'll be really keen to check that out because I believe the lighting is going to be RGB. I'm not sure if it's going to be single key or the whole thing will be um, just a single RGB. But um, nonetheless, that'll still be interesting to check out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just want to thank uh, Tesoro for sending this out. Um, thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for next time.